Hey guys, John Dog Solo on the mic right now, looking for another commentator, but we've got Bugcatcher Will and Crazy Colors 5. Gentlemen into Battlefield right now. Not a huge fan of taking Rosalind to this stage, but Bugcatcher Will had an amazing performance against Graham in his last match, so we'll see what he can do against Colors. Looks like we've got Mindset popping on the mic right now. Mindset here commentating. Uh, what is uh, is this Buckcatcher Will versus... Uh, Game 1, Buckcatcher Will and Colors... Oh. Not really... I don't really know what's, what is going on here. It is, it is 100%. Well, I, uh, what I just guess, happened? I guess we're back in it. Uh, okay, alright. We're not going to worry about it. We're not going to worry about it. But maybe his controller was uh, screwed up. Now, Buckcatcher Will, his favorite kill confirmed is Aura Sphere, Reverse Aura Sphere and Up Smash, and Colors is definitely going to be looking for that. But first, you've got to get damage on Colors. Buckcatcher Will is just is not capitalizing on that gone. Ooh! This is the fair trying to go for the Luma, but that was a smart decision to go for the Luma instead of Rosalina. I like that wall jump. Oh, Will. Will. Back in misses Luma, but Dash Tech is going to do it. Great job getting Luma out of there. Oh, nice stage spike. Nice tech. Color's always ready for that tech. Yeah, Color's expecting him to throw that Aura Sphere, but I know that Buckcatcher Will is saving Forcing him to approach. Yeah, Buckcatcher Will is definitely saving that Aura Sphere for his favorite kill setup. Now that Luma's back, Buckcatcher Will has to focus on Luma instead of Rosa. Oh, gee. But, looks like Mindset is just getting called, so uh, I might be going solo again. We'll see if want to commentate. Alright, so Lucario is at that Aura percentage now, where he can safely use Force Palm to put pressure on Luma. Use Force Palm right in your face like that. Oh, what a stage spike! Oh, the halo goes through the stage. You can just see the frustration on Buckcatcher Will right now. But, I think he's going to be able to keep a level head. Because this is definitely not over for him. Although, without all that aura, it's going to be very difficult for him. So what do you think is Buckcatcher Will's best approach option when Luma is in power? Any anything to where he can get Luma out of there, which is uh, Aura Sphere, I believe. Aura Sphere is probably the best option. Well, Rosalina can gravitational pull it. Uh, maybe B Reverse Aura Sphere then. Mm -hmm. That way it can trap Luma. Looks like he's going for a lot of. Now that he's at a higher percent and has the Aura, looks like he's going for a lot of back airs and force calls. Okay, sends Luma into tumble. Great use of up air. Yeah, if you want to survive in this scene, you have to take your character into training mode and figure out what moves specifically to send Luma into time. And that's what you have to spam when Luma's in play. Or when Luma's in play. And Luma's back, so now Will's going to have a hard time trying to get the kill. I mean, Colors has just such great movement with Rosalina that it's almost impossible to capitalize once Luma is gone. It's just floats around the stage. That, that'll be it? No? No, with Luma, I might have. Oh. oh, wow. Up B gets Luma out of there, but that was an F smash, too. <laughs> and Force <Forrest> Sphere <laughs> takes Luma way out of there. Oh, that Looks like Buckcatcher Will was trying to bait Colors out of shield, but he's not having any of that. That there was a oh, nice wow. back there. And Will's still in this. That was strong, man. Oh, nope. You know, two hit on help from that platform, the smaller blast zones as well. Smashville, Smashville is like, you know, not a good stage for Rosa either because uh, it's one platform, but it's moving. Um, definitely smart idea. I would definitely, I wouldn't necessarily call it a bad stage for Rosalina, but it's, it's not a good one. It's middle ground. Right. It's, it's better than picking Battlefield and Lilat. Will off to a pretty bad start here, but you know, okay, now he's, he's got Luma. He's got Luma out of there, and that's all that matters. Now that Will's got some aura on him, he's not approaching Colors at all right now. He's just camping the platform. He knows that Colors is going to outspace him and just pretty much punish everything if he approaches. So he's got to play it safe. Yeah, if I oh, were nice. If I were Will, I would be watching the clock when you eliminate him. He's got 12 seconds, 12 and a half seconds to work with that. Wow. 
Oh, wow. Oh, no. Double down air. The color is double dipping right there. It's going to cost him extra. Yeah, Will. I mean, if I were Will, I would definitely be frustrated, but at this point, yeah, I don't know what Will's going to be able to do to get this out of here. He's in pretty bad territory. I mean, honestly, this damage is probably helping Will out so that he can just build up some range on his Force Palm. That's true. Force Palm will be able to send him into a tumble state. Just over the line. Oh, oh no! Wow. Okay, Will's got a chance. A rare misinput by colors. But hey, a couple hits from Luma might do it. So this Will is Will's, if Will's gonna pull this off, this is a chance! Oh, oh that's it, game hate. two. That down throw, but 